los pivots de Asunción. Ok, thank you very much for this invitation. Uh, we are small, but we are strong country. <laughs> um, I, I will talk about a, a hospital. Uh, the numbers are from the largest hospital, children's hospital of the Ministry of Health in Paraguay. Uh, and we as university, we work very, very close with them and we succeed in pneumonia projects and follow up uh, of children. So uh, they have a good staff and a good uh, quality data. Uh, Paraguay has a, this is just very fast because it's lunch time for everybody. Is the total population, just to have an idea of seven million people. We are in the center, as you can see in the center of in the, uh, South America. Um, uh, we have 20.8 uh, births per 1,000 population. Uh, the number of newborn registered in 2017 was this number, yes. Um, the infant mortality rate is almost 18 deaths per uh, 1,000 live birth. And the fertility, we still have 2.5 uh, per an average per woman. And I will talk about, uh, uh, this is Paraguay, and uh, the total, pop uh, 90, more than 90% of the population is in this area, and this is like a desert. Uh, it only has 1% uh, of the total population, half of the country. Um, we are here in this hospital, and it is named the Central Department, and I just want to show you that it has a a population of two million. Hmm? Two million out of the seven million. So the representative is approximately about 30% of the population, uh, the people that they receive in the hospital, children's. Uh, the questions were, uh, we, if I'm talking about their facilities, okay? Because we are a research institute that we have many things, but I'm talking about hospital facilities. Uh, they have blood, back, uh, blood culture, yes, uh, back alert, and they do approximately uh, 50 to 100 uh, uh, per month. Then uh, CF cultures, yes, 10 to 20 per month. Uh, other microbiological, but uh, VTEC identification, 100 uh, 200 per month. Uh, they also perform conventional techniques. I added this. Uh, microbiological cultures, uh, 1,000 uh, and 1,500 per month. Uh, and real-time PCR is brand new since three years, and they started after our pneumonia project with a qPCR uh, system also. Um, it's a tertiary uh, hospital. And the, per year, the outpatients admissions in the different areas, as you can see, is totally 200,000 per year, approximately. And the inpatients per month is around 800 and in the different areas of the hospital. Uh, um, the number of beds is very small, considering with I just felt the small daughter of India. <laughs> um, okay, this data I was uh, I took from the urgency. Uh, the pediatrician is the most expertise uh, lady in the department of urgencies, and they uh, promised me that the data is very very well analyzed. Each children. And I will show you the flow chart that they uh, use, okay? Um, they, we don't have a surveillance of fever as a Ministry of Health uh, project or something like this. So we have a lot of data about respiratory infections that I will show you later, but not, it's not counted fever in the respiratory infection. So if we go and look at the questionnaires, the forms, we will find the fever. 
yes, but it's not uh, the fever. Uh, it is more the syndromic problem and not the fever associated to the syndromic problem. This is how they do. Um, so they said uh, that also they said that the surveillance uh, is mainly to find out if we, they will give antibiotics or not give antibiotics. So the flow chart that they follow is mainly for children from three months to three years. This is the flow chart. They don't have under five or, or uh, under five. They have between three months and three years. And I ask why, because the questioner says under five, and they explain that uh, at the region of Latin America, South America, they uh, combined that the three to 36 months was the most danger to get a bacterial infection. So they want to make uh, they strict like this. So this is the number, as you can see, of per in 2018 and in 2017. Uh, uh, with uh, without focus, okay, and fever with rash. Those are the numbers. And um, uh, chronic fever, I'm known, is not differentiated in uh, by year, because it's mainly as it was explained before in children uh, over five. So it's 67 and and 23. Uh, just very fast. I will tell you the admissions, those are uh, slides made by the hospital. Uh, the number of admission is almost uh, the same. And they ad have the admissions uh, concerning uh, colors. Yes, uh, how acute is the case and how uh, considering the, the severity of the case that is, uh, comes for consultancy. Uh, the average per month is 9,000, and it was almost 9,000 per month. Uh, inpatients in 2018 was 8,600, and also the levels are considered uh, uh, about the severity of the consultancy and the inpatients, yes? How many are uh, in the red ones are more severe? In patients, why these people were uh, in patients in 2017? As you can see, uh, most of them were um, uh, bronchiolitis, okay, mild and severe bronchiolitis, um, dengue with uh, with uh, al alarm signs, and dengue just with fever. Um, also, um, uh, um, pneumonia bacteriana, bacterial pneumonia, acute pneum um, convulsions, not febrile, not with fever, cellulitis, abdomen, acute abdomen. Um, that's, I tell you that they have very well described uh, each uh, of the inpatients uh, uh, that came. And also, they, they have the top 10 the top 10 uh, diagnostics that they have was common uh, cold was the main, without diagnosis is the second, and then uh, obstructic um, bronchial syndrome and diarrhea and vomits. Okay, uh, I was explained also that the acute fever without any localized signs they uh, mainly have a lot of, um, uh, they get uh, in the flow chart, uh, the age is very important, the intensity of the ver fever is very important, and the vaccination status is very important. So they take care of these three main points. Uh, because I'm telling, they, the flow chart is to discard antibiotics, giving antibiotics. Um, they said that the age, is considered because neonates under 20, uh, 28 has uh, a, a, is a group. Infants between one and three months is another group very well defined. And children between three and 36 months is another very good uh, defined uh, group. Um, the intensity of fever is 
uh, mainly they are looking for bacteremia, uh, not seen, not seen bacteremia, yes? And vaccination status because it decreased after the Mophilus influenza vaccine and the streptococcus pneumonia vaccine in 2011, so it decreased. And in my country, last year, we were the uh, certificate free of malaria. We don't have malaria in the country. So this is the flow chart that uh, the South American region use for children from three to 36 months. This is a common flow chart for pediatricians. And uh, they follow this very slowly. I, I won't tell you each part. And this finish, finally, uh, without, with or without antibiotic. And they, they discharge through uh, many uh, questions, um, the flow chart, and not so many uh, laboratory, uh, difficult uh, laboratory studies. Um, just to know, uh, this is uh, country data. Just to tell you that uh, in 2017, we have uh, almost 7,000 uh, acute respiratory infections and that most of them, 62%, are in children under five. So this is the same situation in the hospital. So uh, we cannot say that it will be different. And also, uh, we really know uh, that RSV was the main uh, cause in 2017 in, in the country and also in children under five. And this is the epidemiological curve, yes, of uh, the different uh, agents affecting uh, the uh, children and adults in the country. And we also have a good surveillance in uh, meningitis, um, mainly Neisseria men meningitis and streptococcal pneumonia were in those cases of acute bacteria, uh, bacterial uh, meningitis. Uh, these are the serotypes detected year by year, as you can see, of Neisseria meningitis. And thank you very much. Thank you.